business intelligence is a set of technologies and processes and uh, methodologies for enabling enterprise users make better business decisions. But in fact, uh, it doesn't apply just to business because those technologies work very well in the field of governance, in uh, charities, in military, in healthcare. Um, so what really business intelligence is about is about increasing performance of an organization by enabling any information worker, any knowledge worker in a company make better business decisions. Um, generally speaking, what is not BI um, is everything else. It's technologies perhaps for traditional reporting. So what makes BI different from an analytical perspective than uh, other forms of uh, working with information today is the level of interactivity of the user. Traditional reporting, of course, is part of business intelligence, but not as exciting and perhaps not as powerful as uh, enabling the user to um, correlate data all inside Excel, slice and dice the data uh, from a cube, or maybe to perform these uh, new forms of columnar analysis on large amounts of data by themselves using Power Pivot. Um, the newest uh, change to the whole field of business intelligence is the emergence of self-service BI. Uh, there is no question that the older world of uh, uh, organizational cubes of uh, more traditional data warehouses is very important and that type of analysis uh, is still the bread and butter of how large enterprises do BI. But we think that in the next 10 years for every one report or cube that you are using in an organization, there will be at least a hundred, if not more, self-service BI uh, tools, reports and results. So for example, we expect that uh, users will be increasingly analyzing relational data uh, using in-memory analysis tools such as Microsoft's Power Pivot without needing a cube. Now, Microsoft is not the only player uh, to be introducing these technologies. There are others. Uh, what makes uh, Microsoft Microsoft quite interestingly unique is that Power Pivot works all inside Excel. So anybody who understands Excel uh, will be able to do their own analysis of large amounts of data. And we think that will change BI tremendously because users will lead by showing us what kind of analysis they need and we in the IT organization will tend to respond to that need. Uh, probably still building cubes and still building more traditional reports at some stage. In 10 years from now, we believe that vast majority of information workers will consider analysis as something as natural to them as editing documents is today to a worker in an office. Business intelligence is popular and is very highly ranked, uh, not just by Gartner, but uh, pretty much any analyst right now, uh, because it concentrates not on technology, but on its purpose. And its purpose is uh, increasing performance of an organization, which is very close to the heart of any uh, manager, of any executive. Uh, it's very rare that we think of technology from the perspective of its purpose. If you think about email, we tend to think first about about folders, inboxes, etc. Later about what kind of communication you are going to enable using that technology. BI is different. BI says, okay, data warehouses, cubes are nice, but that's not our goal. Our goal is to increase performance. So for example, when we begin a BI project, we don't start by saying, oh, you need a cube. We say, what kind of performance you would like to optimize through this project? And very often the next step is building a score card of key performance indicators which are relevant to this area of performance that we will be um, hopefully improving through, uh, through the project that we are working on. Perhaps a cube comes later, but not necessarily so. I think that's what makes BI so popular. Absolutely. Business intelligence has traditionally been the domain of a larger enterprise, uh, one that is able to afford both the technology but uh, above all the time of uh, experts who can build those traditional warehouses, cubes and um, analytical structures. What is changing right now is first of all they became cheaper so they are available at least to the mid-market uh, but the self-service nature of analysis is bringing tools into the hands of even the smaller organizations today. Anybody who can use Excel, 
anybody who is prepared to use Excel 2010 in one of its um, business editions, which is uh, very inexpensive, is going to be able to do cube-like analysis using Parapivot. Um, and that is just Microsoft. There are other players, other technologies, which are all enabling that space. And we know that that is a much bigger opportunity also than just the big companies, because for every big company there is a thousand smaller ones. So it's going to be attractive to those smaller organizations and it's going to be attractive to vendors like Microsoft and it's going to be attractive to consultants like my company as we see that the scope of BI projects is expanding exponentially at the moment.